Will you search that plane? Do not come any closer, you have been warned. Yeah, please search that plane. We believe there's war crimes being committed by that plane. We're asking you to search it. And your protest outside is not on an active runway. Soldiers, we're asking you to search the plane. There are war crimes being committed. We're asking you to search the plane. This is a very, very good day for the cause of getting rid of the US military out of Shannon Airport. This was never a case about justice, it was about punishment. Punishment for challenging the evil that is happening at Shannon Airport on a daily basis. In this trial, for the first time, we were finally given an opportunity to challenge the evidence against us in open court. By our acquittal, what has been exposed is the systemic failures of both the Gardaí and the DPP to uphold local and international law at Shannon Airport. Their decision to pursue this case was a political one to punish us for challenging the US military use of Shannon Airport. I feel passionately about the fact that we are in a country that has a proud history of standing up for human rights around the world. The victims in all these wars, large amount of the populations of Asia, Africa, Latin America and a lot of marginalised people in our own country and in Europe and in America. Since my younger days the country has changed so much, like money is everything and the perception that it's of advantage to be friends with the United States administration, regardless of what kind of animal is in charge of the country, it seems to still persist. Thank you. Relief, yeah. Well, I feel very relieved after the whole process. Starting off in the district court in Ennis and winding our way through that system and up to the circuit court in Ennis and then transferred to the circuit criminal court here in Dublin. It's really daunting, and particularly for people like myself and Colm, who haven't that much experience in court. Um, it made me very, very nervous anyway. I was very, very relieved because we were given the freedom to raise the issues that we wanted to raise, not alone about the administration of justice at Shannon Airport, but also about the wider issues involving the US military's use of Shannon Airport. It was those two areas really that we wanted to focus on in the last two weeks, and I think we were fairly successful in doing that. And it's a real reflection on the jury system here that the 12 members of the jury who represent the public and in a sense they represent the sense of right and wrong. They were the ones who, who were the judges in the case really who made the decision and they decided quite clearly that we were not guilty of the offence that the prosecution had taken against us. So it was a vindication really of our stance. It was a vindication of the perspective that we have taken on Shannon Airport that it shouldn't be used by the US military. It's very dangerous for a start. It sets up Shannon Airport and the region as a legitimate military target for the opposing belligerents that the US military is involved in in various parts of the world. So any one of those belligerents could legitimately look at Shannon Airport, could see the US military presence and regard it as a legitimate military target. So it's incredibly reckless and irresponsible for the Irish government to allow such a dangerous situation to emerge. And that has been the situation in Shannon Airport since the start of its use by the US military. It's our fervent wish and desire that the airport in Shannon be returned to exclusively peaceful civilian use. And I hope that will happen at some stage in the not too distant future. What Judge O'Connor did in this case allowed both the defendants to maintain their dignity at all times. She has set the bar incredibly high with regard to what judicial forbearance means and I honestly uh, have to thank her from the bottom of my heart. It was a pleasure to be in that courtroom and it's not a pleasure I enjoy often. We went into that courtroom and these two defendants showed they know the law inside out and they do a lot more than mean well. They understand where they're coming from, where they're going to, and they can defend their corner, and they have done so incredibly. I can't tell you how happy I am. There was never a doubt in my mind where this was going. There's no surprise here. 
but it's still nice to have this in the rear view mirror. Four and a half years is a long time. I'd like to add my personal thanks to everybody here. And I'd like to particularly thank again our Mackenzie's, my rock over there, Sean Ryan, my speechwriter, my uh, <laughs> legal brain for four years through 37 days in court. And Sean has been there beside me all of that time. And I'd like to thank Raymond too, and thanks to AFRI and to everybody here. Dealing with the whole war industry and, you know, the reality of war in the world, it's a depressing reality and there are not many good news stories around it. But today is a good news story because Colm and Dave put their lives on the line, put their freedom on the line and took an anti-war action in the belly of the beast in Ireland, which is Shannon Airport, in terms of its participation in the war industry. And they were vindicated by a jury of 12 people today. They were found not guilty. So that's a really good news story. What it says is that Irish people in general, if they are informed about the reality of what's happening at Shannon Airport, are opposed to it, as they have shown in numerous surveys and polls that have been carried out. What needs to happen now is that the government needs to take seriously the results of this verdict and the need to come in line with the wishes of the Irish people and discontinue Shannon as a war port which visits death and destruction on innocent people all over the world. In Shannon Airport, the value of life is being desecrated on a daily basis. The permission given by the Irish government to the US military to use Shannon Airport is a clear indication of the priority the Irish government gives to US interests over the lives of Irish citizens and our brothers and sisters in the Middle East and elsewhere. Our faith witness at Shannon Airport was an attempt to re-establish the value of human life above all other considerations. The US military has been responsible for the death and injury of millions of people all over the world. There should be no place at any Irish airport for such a death-dealing machine. It is our fervent wish that Shannon Airport be returned as an exclusively civilian airport. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.